Hello, welcome back to Mantle Farm. It's two days since Roger donated a frame of brood for our bees to make queens from, so let's have a look and see how they're getting on. Flaming embers coming in and rushing out and taking the wings off the bees. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Okay, so, what are we up to? So what are we up to? We've uh, put a frame with, we've taken the queen out because we feel that um, she's quite prone to swarming because there's not even a full box of brood here and they had charged queen cells at the last inspection. So we've taken the old queen out, we've put a frame of eggs in from another colony that isn't so prone to swarming. And so we're now going to go through as quickly as we can, looking at all the frames and there should be emergency queen cells basically all through the hive really, um, probably. And so any emergency queen cells on frames that were laid in by the original queen, we will take off and just leave the ones that are, we hope, on the frame of desirable eggs that we put in last, what was it, Wednesday? Today's uh, yes. Saturday. Oh, was it third? No, it's Thursday. Was it Thursday? Oh yeah, it was Thursday we put it in. It was, it. Yeah. it was Wednesday when we had the day barkle of not being able to find a queen on the right. second, run, second and third run throughs. Right, okay, so uh, these bees can be a bit, bit lively. So I've brought some tea towels to use as cover cloths. So once I've got all the, or most of the bees down between the frames out of the way with smoke, I shall then put a cover over the top, except for the particular frame that I'm lifting out at the time. And uh, just lifting out the one with the eggs on. That's not clever. Right, that's better. So he joined it on with brace comb to the queen excluder. Come on girls, let go. In you go, go. go. They've done that in just a few days, haven't they? Yep. Right along the top with basically drone size comb. Right, come on you lot, get out of the way. Oh, I could lose patience sometimes. Right, put that down in front of the entrance so they can climb up and go back inside. And, uh, right, cloths. So, cover two there. Push the dummy board out of the way and ready for the off. <coughs> this way it keeps all the bees, or most of the bees, in the box, so they're not flying about attacking us and generally being a nuisance. <coughs> right. And also it's not a very nice day, so we'll try and keep them a little bit warm. Right, so there's nothing on that one. Just stores and things. And bees. And come on girls, look, you're in the, in the wrong place here, go on. Get back in there. As soon as things start moving, they start to start flying and chasing things. And 
on that one we have Seal Brood and on that side again Seal Brood So we're looking, yeah, so we're looking for any sort of possibility of any queen cells, aren't we? Yeah, we're looking for emergency queen cells here because we took all the actual charged queen cells off. That is actually a drone that I've just taken out, but that's, it was in a, in a situation where they might think it was a queen cell because it was pointing downwards mm -hmm. rather than the usual, that's a queen cup which I'm just checking. Right, I think we're alright with that one. So these are, as well as being, we think, a bit, a bit prone to swarming, they're a bit lively at the best of times. Yeah. And uh, so this being a roof, quite a, an inclement weather, they were always going to be a bit, a bit excitable, shall we say. And now that they're queenless, that makes them more defensive even than usual. So, you know, there's a combination of things here that basically we're asking for trouble doing this on a day like this. But it's kind of time sensitive because we want to choose a queen cell with a healthy looking larvae in it mm. and so we've got to look before they actually seal the emergency queen cells if they've done any um, we haven't found any yet Nothing on that. There's a queen's cup on the on the outside. Oh yeah. Edge. But yeah. there are there are larvae in there that would be about the right age to have been turned into queens. So I don't know quite what's going on there. Uh, there's one cup down there that looks suspiciously. developed oh. yeah we have a charged cell there uh, with you know bees diving in and getting their heads yeah, yeah. in there. I think there is I don't know if I can see it on here but there's some royal jelly in there as well isn't there yeah. Anyway, it's coming out because it's not where we want it, so there it is. And you can probably actually see that now. Mm. Uh, there's a bee licking it up. There's a bee licking it up, and I'm just going to make sure that I get the lava out. There's the lava. Just slightly darker yeah. on the royal jelly. 
in my experience. Anyway, we'll see. Right, and this was the frame that we put in with eggs on and they're loading it with, uh, oh, with yeah. drone comb at the bottom. And they've chosen to do queen cells on the bottom of this, which isn't what we wanted at all, really. Uh, Do you think they've made because those? Because they might have made those with with drone. Uh. Because then with the drone brood, the, one I, the ones I saw there. Mm. Um, Flaming bees on there. I can't see whether they're <laughs> anything in there or not. Right. I shall chase them off with a smoke. See if that will work again. Back in your box. Mm, it's working. I don't want to shake them for several reasons. One of which is that if there are larvae in those queen cells, I don't want to dislodge them. Also, because these bees aren't the nicest in the world at the best of times, I don't want to upset them and get them all cross, which shaking them off frames tends to do. So I'll persist with making them cough and run away. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all empty. Hmm. Oh Come on, girls, get a grip. I wonder, hmm. maybe rather than having the frame with the eggs in, in the middle, perhaps I'll move that to the outer edge of the nest, the brood nest, because that is, does tend to be where they produce most of their queen cells. So perhaps if we do that, that will encourage them to do what we want them to. Mm. So we'll shove those two in there with the rest. So we've got a brood frame there and a stores frame there and we're going to put this one with the desirable eggs in there, in that space. So I have noticed that generally speaking they don't produce queens or drones in the middle of the brood nest they tend to produce them turn them out 
on the margins. So the bottom of the brood frames for queen cells, the, the, the bottom corners and the front and back few frames in the box for drones. They don't seem to do much like that in the middle. They seem to, I don't know, maybe, maybe they need a slightly lower temperature. I have no idea. Hmm. But uh, this is what I've noticed over the years, that generally speaking, they do the slightly out of the ordinary things towards the margins of the brood nest rather than in the centre. Right, well, we are definitely going to have to go through this lot again in a few days' time. Because they're not doing what we want them to. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy what we do here at Mantle Farm. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to keep up to date with our latest videos here on YouTube.